Hello everybody. I've got this uh, SR-71 uh, guy coated and I'm getting ready to sand it and uh, look for the low spots. And then we can go to bond on it. way to do that, you make sure that you follow the contour of your plane and you sand it. I'm using 400 sandpaper wet and dry sandpaper. I started out by using 220 after it uh, spray painted it. I used 220 sandpaper and then I went to 320 and now I'm using 400 to take the uh, uh, spray paint on it. I just put a light uh, mist coat of uh, black primer on it. Now you see I'm, I'm coming up with some uh, low spots Right in here is my low spot. I'm going to take that down just a little bit more. To make sure that the sandpaper is hitting all the way across. Because this 400 don't take a whole lot off very fast. As you can see, I've got a little low spot here and a little low spot there and one right here. The dark spots are the low spots? Right. Oh, how entertaining watching your sand is going to be. Well, it's interesting. It, it's something to show them how to do, do something. Oh, it looks pretty wet right now. Now what we'll do <coughs> is take the the real light bondo and uh, come in and uh, with uh, one of these put a light coat of Bondo on there and then put it down here and just come in like this.
What is that that well, you're using? Uh, that's a, uh, a Bondo squeegee. Okay. It's made for Bondo, and then you you just make it fit the curve of your plane, and it'll fill in all these little spots and go, uh, go over the high spots. Does that have Bondo on it? No, this don't have Bondo on it. I've i just shown them how we would do it. I don't I don't want to mix up any Bondo just yet because I'm not ready for it. Okay. But I was just showing them how we'd go about doing it. Okay. So you put really? Bondo on that squeegee? Right. You put the Bondo on your squeegee and then press it down to where it fits the contour of, the, of your radius and just come along here like this. Okay, where the dark, where it's darker. And it'll fill in it'll these little dark spots. Fill in. Right. Okay. This is our first movie, so bear with us. Bob's real busy today. He's got a bunch of uh, resin mixed up. And so I decided I would just give it a little try and see how it'd come out. And this is Sandy behind the camera. I've never made a movie before. <laughs> this is our first. And you see there's one high spot that I had that uh, I sanded down to the uh, wood. You got to be careful about that because you don't want to sand past the uh, glass coating you put, uh, fiberglass coating you put over it. But actually it's coming out real good. It's amazing to me how smooth it is and how few low spots there is. But it just took a lot of sanding and a lot of work to get it this way. Eight minutes. Okay. This is just going to be a short movie. I wanted to show you how we how I go about getting it good and smooth. That way, when you paint it black, you won't have any of those low spots you don't have. Because black is your worst. Yeah, it'll show every little mark and blemish in that plane. Back here, I'd already die, uh, already uh, done some of it on this and I had a low spot right in here and that's where I uh, when I come in there to file that radius I cut a little groove right in there. So that's something you got to watch out for. And so I had to come back and fill it. And I re guy coated it just to make sure that I've, I've got everything on it. 9.13. So, until next time, so long.